friends, it's Christy. So excited to be back with you on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Snowball Fight and Over the Mountain Borders. I've stamped my images on two panels of Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock with Jet Black ink, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my mice today, and I'm using one of my new favorite combos for mice. It's E70 and E71 with W00 for the lightest. I really like this combo because it's cozy and warm, and I'm going to be using a lot of cool tones in the card today, so I thought it would be nice to have this warmer kind of gray-brown, grayish shade for my mice. So I'm starting with the E71 for each of these guys. I like to color darkest to lightest, and I don't worry too much about light source. I just like to keep the face as light as possible so that you can really make out all of their adorable features. So I typically lay my shadows in down the backs of their bodies, also under any objects that would cast a shadow like a hat brim or where one body part might be overlapping another one, and then I will blend out with my mid-tone, which is the E70, and then I'll come in with the highlight shade, the W00, which does blend really nicely with that E70. I'm also going to use the W00 to add a little bit of shading to the belly and the inside of their ears. And I'll add some pink to the insides of their ears as well, but having a little bit of that warm gray undertone just mutes it a bit and makes it seem a little bit more natural, so it's just something I like to do. So for those pinks, I'm going to use R11 and R20. I'll color in their noses with the R20, and then add a touch of that to the inside of their ears and also to their cheek area. And then blend that out with the R11, just tracing around the cheek so that it kind of disperses into the fur tone. Then I'm going to add in some blues. I'm using B24, B26, and B29. And I'm going to do all of the hats and also the scarf on the mouse in the center. Starting with that B29 in the back little crease there where there wouldn't be much light getting in and then blending that out with the B26, also blending it forward on the scarf and then filling in the front part of the hat and the scarf with the B24, also the little tips of the tails of the scarf. For the brim of the hat and the pom-pom, I'm going to go with a bright green using YG11, YG13, and YG17. I think it's a fun, different combination to do blue and green rather than like red and green. This is actually going to be a happy winter card anyway, although of course it can be given at Christmas time. It's just not technically a Christmas card. I'm going to use BG10 and BG11 for all of the snow, so all of the bricks that are making up the snow fort, and then all of the snowballs, including the ones that are flying through the air and the ones that are going to be scattered on the ground. And I just switched up my light source on some of those that I can have some on the left and some on the right. I'm also going to color the second panel of images from the Over the Mountain Borders, that little scene with the same shades of ink off screen. And then I'll grab a black jelly roll pen and go over the eyes of the two mice that have their eyes open. And then I will trim all of these out with their matching dyes, including that Over the Mountain Border, which you can see there. For my background, I'm going to start out with a piece of pattern paper from the Let It Shine Starry Skies 6x6 pad. I'm choosing this light blue with the gold foil, and I'm trimming that down with the second largest of the large stitch rectangle stackables, and I'm going to add some Distress Oxide ink to give that a little bit of a darker look. 
The first shade that I'm going to use is Salvage Patina, and I'm going to bring that in from the top and the left and right sides. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because that's going to get covered up. Next, I'm going to bring in some chipped sapphire, and I'm going to put that in the same places, just not take it quite as far. I'm also being really careful not to press too firmly with that ink blending tool, so I don't get any kind of weird blobs that I can't blend out easily. I want to keep that distress ink just toward the outside edges, and keep the inside just with the plain cardstock so it looks nice and bright. I will go back and forth between those two shades to make sure that everything is really nice and smooth, and then I'll set this panel aside. In the meantime, I'm going to pop that over the mountain border in my Misty so that I can stamp my sentiment. I'm using Jet Black ink again. This is the same ink that I use for my images. And I'm stamping the Happy Winter from the Snowball Fight stamp set, and I did also stamp the little exclamation point. So I'm going to stamp that down twice to make sure it's nice and bold, and then I'll set that aside and pop my card base in my Misty. I'm using some Moonstone cardstock, which I have created a standard A2 size card from. I'm doing a landscapes card, so it is five and a half wide by four and a quarter tall with a top fold. And then on the inside, I'm adding some additional images and a sentiment that says, we have snow much fun together, and I'm stamping that in Blue Jay ink. And there was one little spot that I didn't feel quite dark enough, so I just stamped that part down a third time. And then I'm going to go back to my Copics and color in my sentiment. So I'm starting at the bottom of each of the letters using B29, which was the darkest blue that I used on the little mice's hats. I'm going to put that down about the bottom third of each of the letters, and then I'm going to skip up to what I used as my lightest on the hat, which is the B24. Since I'm working in such a tiny little area, um, I can kind of get away with not using quite as many colors. They're going to blend nicely anyway in those small areas, so I didn't need to add in the B26. So I'm going to use that B24 and take up about another third of each of those letters. And then for my final shade, I'm going to skip to the BG11, which I used on my snow, and it's kind of going to mimic the ink blending that I did on that pattern paper that is going to make up my sky, going from the dark blue to kind of like the aqua blue to the light blue. So I'm just going to fill in the rest of those letters until I have them completely colored in. And then I'm going to choose some more pattern paper. This time I'm choosing some from the Knit Picky Winter 6x6. And I'm doing this aqua blue that has the snowflake print on it. And I'm gonna trim that one down with the largest of the large stitch rectangle stackables. So I'm gonna grab my glue tube so that I can adhere this background piece to my card front. It's going to completely cover the card. So I'm just pressing that along the sides and at the corners to make sure that it is on there nice and straight. And then I will grab my background piece. I also die cut an extra piece of white cardstock just to strengthen it a bit so that I can pop it up on the card and it's a little more secure. I'm going to glue the over the mountain border right over top of the bottom part of the sky. And then I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. I just used my Scotch 3M foam tape. So I'll peel off the release papers, line that up in the center, and press that down into place. Then I'm ready to bring in my images. And I'm going to start with this snow fort and just make sure that I have that where I want it to go, pretty much right above the word happy. And then this little mouse is going to be popping up out of that and tossing his snowballs. And then I'm going to have another one that's kind of on the attack, getting ready to storm the snow fort. And then the third little guy is kind of just ducking and trying to stay out of the line of fire. 
So I've gotten in the habit of kind of laying out my main images first and seeing how I want them to go on the card before I commit. And then once I'm happy with that placement, I can adhere them down. So that's what I'm doing, just kind of um, figuring out. I didn't want them to block too much of the trees. So just shifting them around a bit until I was happy with it. And then I have all of these extra little snowballs that I'm going to use to fill in the rest of the scene. So I'm going to have these two that are flying through the air toward each other. It has these first two mice are engaged in battle. And I'm just shifting those a bit until I'm happy with kind of the arc where they're flying. I didn't want them to kind of hit in, in between, you know. And then I'm going to take all of these extra little snowballs and add them around the mice at their feet and at the base of the snow fort and just kind of make it look like this little battle has been raging on for a little while and you can kind of see where, you know, the shots that they weren't quite as successful with have landed. I'll make sure to add one over to the right of the mouse that's ducking and then one to the far left of the scene as well just to kind of expand that out toward the borders. And then that final snowball I'm going to add in the center between the two groups there so um, you can have something filling in that empty space as well. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle, so I'm taking my favorite embellishment, Stardust Stickles, and adding a little bit to each of the snowballs and also to the blocks that make up the snow fort. I like to add it in the area that is shaded the darkest. So I'm just going to go through and put that until everything is covered, and then also add it to the top edge of the snow drift. And my bottle got a tiny little clog in it, so I just used a pin to uh, get that out so that I could finish up the rest of the snowdrift. And then I'm going to lift that up to the camera so you can see all of that sparkle, also with the gold foiled pattern paper. And there's a final peek at the inside. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had so much fun creating it for you. If you did, leave me a comment down below so we can chat. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.